Hi everybody, welcome back. Now today I'm going to give you a site tour of the Caravan and Motorhome Club at Chapel Lane. Now the site itself is on the outskirts of Birmingham, has excellent links with all the major motorways, including the M5, the M42, the M40 and the M6. It's really well situated, it's centrally placed in the UK, and I thought I'd give you an idea of how the site looks and feels. So I stuck a GoPro on the car, I went for a drive around the site, and we start the tour of course at the entrance and the security barriers as we enter the site. We've just passed the site office on the left and the late night arrivals are around the back of the office. Key cards are used to gain access to the site. Uh, you collect one of these from the site office once you are settled in. Following the one-way system around to the left, we pass a small information hut with details of local attractions and facilities off-site. On the left also you can see a small car park and as we carry on you'll see that there's some nice hedgerows on the left as well. Now behind these hedges is some on-site caravan storage, details of which can be obtained from the site itself. Entrance to the storage is just up here on the left, but we're going to turn to the right and pass the first of two toilet blocks. Now this toilet block includes male and female toilets and showers, a laundry room, dishwashing and a chemical waste point. Now because of the close proximity to the motorways, the site offers some tarmac pitches as well. Now these are ideal if you're using the site as a stopover before continuing on your journey. Each pitch comes with an electric hookup and is suitably long enough to allow you and your car to remain in front of the caravan. They're also long enough to allow American style RVs to park up without any issues. Now as we venture on up you'll see that to your right is the first bank of service pitches. Each pitch comes with electric hookup, a TV antenna, water and a drain point, all supplied at the actual pitch. In total there are 18 serviced pitches here at the site. As we turn to the left we pass the second toilet block, where again you have access to the showers, toilets, dishwashing area and a chemical waste point. On the right hand side of the road you'll notice that there's also a motorhome waste point as well. Just beyond the toilet block is a couple of disabled pitches. Now right in front of us is access to the dog walking area. It is quite a small dog walker section, but it is long enough and big enough to walk the dog up and down a few times. There are, however, more extensive areas to walk the off-site. Uh, visit the information kiosk to get more information of where these are. Now, as we turn right, you'll see more pitches, and you start to get a feel for the spacing and how level the ground is that these pitches occupy. There is access to a service point on the right where you can get your fresh water, drain your waste, empty the toilet, and disregard your rubbish. Immediately on the right and behind the trees is the play area. This is quite small but does offer a safe environment for the youngsters to play around. Now just beyond the hedge is a busy main road. It can be quite noisy especially in rush hour in the morning and the evening so if you are booking up here bear that in mind. As we carry on round you'll see that each pitch is quite wide enough for you to store your car, the caravan and the awning and have enough space to put those side by side. The ground is quite firm but we had no issue with standard pegs when pegging out the awning. Now we are just passing the service pitches that we briefly saw before and we will go back around the toilet block but instead of turning right we're going to turn left and you'll see the second section of service pitches at the back of the site. In front of us you can see yet more storage facilities and as we swing around to the left we see some grass pitches on the left and the right. Mm -hmm. 
So as we venture across the tarmac pitches, we come across the final set of pitches and the exit. Chapel Lane is literally two minutes away from Junction 3 of the M42, with great links to the M5, the M40 and the M6. Also, this site is just eight miles from the centre of Birmingham. And there we go. I hope you've enjoyed this site tour of the Caravan and Motorhome Club Chapel Lane site. Any questions, feel free to pop them down below. And thanks for watching.